Recently, our church had its annual question and answer Sunday. And one of the shortest questions that came in was, in my opinion, one of the most important. A person asked, or I should say they requested this. Pastor, tell me more about spiritual warfare. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard that phrase before, spiritual warfare. It's a biblical idea, but it doesn't come up in every church. In fact, as I think about my own preaching, I don't know how often I've addressed spiritual warfare directly in the past six to 12 months. But listen to what the Apostle Paul says to his dear friends at the church in Ephesus. Ephesians chapter 6. He says, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Like your real struggle isn't with your brother or your boss or your grouchy neighbor. No, no, no. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Our struggle is against the rulers, the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil, even the heavenly realms. Therefore, verse 13, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able able to stand your ground and after you have done everything, to stand. That's spiritual warfare. You, You and I as followers of Jesus are in a constant battle a struggle, as Paul calls it here, a war, not physically, not with sword and spear, not with a knife, a gun, a bomb, a drone. No, it's it's not against the rulers of this world. It's against the rulers of the spiritual world, invisible rulers, the devil, the deceiver, the father of lies, the spirits of this age that tries to lead us away from God, make our consciences calloused and make us think that God isn't worth giving up everything to follow Jesus. So what do I want to tell my friend? What do I want to tell you about spiritual warfare? Um, just a few things. First, it's real. <laughs> when you woke up today, you might just thought, I'm, I want to hit snooze. I wish I didn't have to go to work. I'm behind on email. <laughs> right? you, you probably thought about physical things or financial things or uh, earthly things, but you woke up in a war zone. You woke up in this epic battle between good and evil that involves your very soul. Do you believe that? The devil woke up today with a plan to deceive you, to lead you into temptation, to make you think that God isn't good, that God isn't here, that God doesn't forgive you, that sin isn't a big deal, that everyone's doing it, that you'll you'll be fine with it. Like, he's coming with a strategy and a plan like a master general who has fought in countless wars. His goal isn't to scare you. It's not a horror movie. His job is to make you love God and other people less. His hope is to make you trust and believe in Jesus less. And he has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. He doesn't care if it's pain or if it's pleasure. If it's a miscarriage that makes you hate God, or if it's just busyness that makes you forget about God. It might be the suffering of innocent children in the world that shakes your faith. It might be your success that makes you too busy for the Bible or prayer or serving the poor in Jesus' name. Like, he doesn't care. He will do anything as long as you and God, you and this book, are less connected than you were yesterday. It's a fight, it's a struggle, and it's real. It's hard to love God. It's hard to remember God. (laughs) It's hard to love people. Some people, (laughs) it's almost impossible to love. And so we are in this battle. The Apostle Paul says our struggle, it's real. It's happening against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. So what should we do? That's the next big thing I want to tell you. Paul says, therefore, put on the full armor of God. Like, you wake up. And I'm guessing you you put on some clothes before work. <laughs> Maybe if you're doing some Zoom meetings and the camera's off, you stay in your jammies. But I'm, you know, I'm guessing you you put on something to be ready for your work. Well, Paul says here you should put on something to be ready for this war. And then he lists it. Now, I'm not going to read through all of Ephesians six, but you really should. He talks about faith. He talks about the gospel. He talks about um, this. Readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. He talks about the belt of truth, the the breastplate of righteousness. Like, 
I'm starting my day saying I'm righteous because of the blood of Jesus. I'm forgiven. I'm a child of God. I'm uh, putting on the belt of truth. Like God is worth it. He's worthy. I have a calling to love people today. Today is not about an easy or a hard day. It's not about maximum pleasure. It's not about script. Like my day today is about God. God didn't call me home to heaven yet because he has a plan and a purpose for me to love him, follow him, seek him, serve him, and love people in Jesus' name, right? We, uh, this is why it's so important to start your day thinking of God, uh, maybe opening this book, doing a devotion, um, watching a good YouTube video, listening to worship music, starting your day in prayer. Uh, maybe the Lord's Prayer is a good way to start your day. We're putting on the full armor of God so we don't spend half this battle spiritually naked, <laughs> right? You and I are human, we're frail, We're very weak, so we need the armor that God gives, the help and resources and weapons that God gives because they have mighty power. When I think about being in a war with the devil, with with dark forces and demons like that, that freaks me out. Until, (laughs) until I remember Jesus, my Jesus, my redeemer and my king and my, do you remember what happened? In the Bible, when demons met Jesus, they cowered. They shook. Don't cast me into hell, Jesus. They begged for his mercy. In other words, the Jesus that is in your heart, General Jesus, King Jesus, who leads you into battle, he is a billion times more powerful than those evil forces. So we follow in the footsteps of Jesus because he fought for us and he still fights for us today. So tell me more about spiritual warfare. There's a lot, but maybe we could start here. It's real. You're in it. Armor up. And remember that your King Jesus fights for you. Do you struggle to find time to connect with God? Well, click here to subscribe to our daily email. Well, we'll make sure that you hear about God's promises, his love, and his amazing word.